this third annual symposium organized by the partnership that the Miru Foundation has with um, the university. We sincerely thank you for hosting this in these beautiful facilities. Um, I happen to be a member of the Miru Foundation Board of Directors and also a professor of global health, so it's indeed an honor for me to be here. Let me begin with some background. The Miru Foundation is actively engaged in over 25 countries, uh, low and middle income, around Africa, the Caribbean, Latin America, Asia, and the Middle East. More than a funder, we're an operating organization, uh, working side by side with local partners to prevent and fight epidemics, strengthen laboratory capacities, improve health and living conditions, especially of mothers and their children. Today's topic hits close to home as the Dean so eloquently described. Our local teams and partners are currently on the front lines working to deliver health services to displaced populations um, around the world and in the most challenging crisis zones. A quick word about today's program. You, we will hear the perspectives of colleagues from two countries in the Miryu Foundation's network. Uh, first, we're honored to have Jean-William Pop from Haiti, uh, from where he runs uh, Geskio, um, a very close partner and collaborator with our work um, to support you. And Dr. Zosette Najar, who uh, because of uh, recent bombings in Lebanon could not join us, but hopefully we'll be able to connect with her uh, via Zoom. Um, Dr. Carl Blanchett from uh, Geneva, uh, where is I? You're, he was okay. He was sitting next to me. But thank you for for coming uh, and uh, delivering our keynote today. We're also fortunate to have Kevin DeCock and David Heyman, um, my friends and fellow board members at the Miru Foundation USA. David being the the chair from its inception. And they will facilitate today's panel discussions with a remarkable group of experts representing a wide range, range of um, geographies and expertise spanning uh, field uh, intervention to policy. Finally, we're honored to have Nidhi Bori from USAID. Thank you for coming. Um, you will be sharing your valuable insights in the closing remarks. So thanks again. It is now my great pleasure and honor to introduce our special guest and keynote speaker today, um, Dr. Carl Blanchett, the director of the Geneva Center of Humanitarian Studies and a professor of humanitarian and public health at the Faculty of Medicine, the University of Geneva. Professor Blanchett is also co-chair of the CHH Lancet Commission on Health Conflict and Forced Displacement and the co-chair of the Lancet Migration Europe. In addition, he's an academic director of InZone, a University of Geneva academic pro project offering university courses to refugee populations. Professor Branch's research centers on public health, migration, and the resilience of health systems, particularly in the post-conflict and conflict-affected regions. He has pioneered innovative research methodologies based on the complexity of science and systems thinking, and uh, with a particular emphasis on women, adolescents, and child health in humanitarian contexts. He was notably one of the co-PIs of the Lancet series on women and children's health in conflict settings. Additionally, Professor Blanchett has played a key role in creating a priority package of essential health services for countries such as Afghanistan and for various humanitarian crises. 